Good old DJI. Made that a lot smoother than the last time I tried that. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you don't already, please subscribe. I really greatly appreciate it. As I said in the intro there, that went a lot smoother than the last time I tried this with the Avo drone. You may remember that from this review. And in that video, I kind of mentioned that I've really only flown three drones in the year that I've been flying drones. I started with the DJI Phantom 3, a really big, I felt like a great drone to learn on because I could, uh, it could withstand wind and everything and it really made it easy to get hooked on and enjoy learning to fly drones. That caused me to buy this DJI Mini 2. And I have flown this for the better part of the last year and I absolutely love it. I get great footage off this. It's been fun to learn even more on. And I can take it just about anywhere. And then I tried to fly the Avo drone and I really don't think I should claim that as having flown that drone because as you remember from the footage, didn't fly very well. And I say all that because I have really enjoyed my year of learning how to fly drones. Uh, and with that, I've wanted to kind of expand my drone knowledge. I would love to get my hands on a DJI uh, Air 2S, a DJI Mavic 2 Pro, something like that. But I'd also like to try other drones, not just DJI. I'd love to try Autels and some others. But there's a style of flying drones that is completely different from this, and that's FPV. Um, FPV, like a lot of things, has been around for a while, but I really feel that FPV has taken the, the nation and the world by storm more so in the last year. If you remember back a few months ago, there was a video that went viral and it was by a production company and it was FPV drone that flew from outside into a bowling alley, through all around this bowling alley, and it ended with the drone following a bowling ball and crashing into the pins with the bowling ball. And I just remember watching that thinking, how much skill does that take? How much practice did that take? How much uh, coordination? So I really started, you know, kind of searching YouTube a lot and I, and I found Captain Drone a few months ago and I started watching more and more of his videos. It seems like he does a drone review just about every day. I know he does several a week. He gets sent all these drones to review, to fly and to talk about. Um, and he gives really great insights into them. And there's one company, one kit in particular that really caught my eye and it's by a company called Beta FPV. I wanna say that this is the third or fourth iteration of this style kit. I've seen some different looks to the drone and everything, but Beta FPV has the Cetus Pro FPV kit and it's billed as beginner to pro. It'll, it's a all-in-one kit that comes with everything you need to go from, if you've never flown a drone before, which thankfully I have at least a little bit of a leg up on that, all the way to being able to swoops and twirls and spins and all the cool stuff that you see FPV drone pilots do. So I've got my hands on this kit and I kind of want to do a small little bit uh, about what's in the kit. In the coming weeks is when I'm really going to uh, practice with the simulator, practice with the drone and everything and hopefully through a series of videos I'll be able to go from never having flown FPV to feeling pretty comfortable doing my first flip, hopefully. First, what comes in this kit? It seems like normally you buy the drone or you buy a drone building kit, then you buy your own controller and then you buy your own he headset. And this has everything already in it. It's got a great case that holds everything and keeps it nice and protective. It comes with your goggles comes with a controller and something I like about the way that this was packaged is it has these protectors over it to keep the joysticks from getting messed up. And of course, it does come with the drone. And you know, first look at it, I really like this drone. It is itty bitty. It's great because it comes with prop guards. It's made of high durable plastic. I've seen a few videos where people have really put that these prop guards and that plastic to the test. But something that sets this drone apart from other FPV drones is it has these sensors on the bottom that help keep you level as well as an equal distance from your target ground. Um, so it just, it makes it a lot easier when you're in full on beginner mode to not be like going just all over the place. It is able to stay very level. 
Um, and the kit also comes with some other things like extra props, a prop removal tool, the headband for the headpiece, uh, a couple batteries, a battery charger. So what I'm going to do in this video and today is I'm going to charge up one of the batteries, I'm gonna charge up the controller, and I'm gonna see if I can get this bad boy off the ground and to at least hover and to fly around a little bit. Um, the reason I say that is this kit, like I said, is a beginner to pro kit. And depending on who's watching this video, they may agree or disagree with what I'm about to say, but this drone I love because it has essentially nine speeds. Um, on the controller, you have all the way down beginner. Then you've got middle, intermediate, and then you've got your advanced or acrobatic mode on some other drones. And then over here on the other, on one of the other toggle switches, you have all the way down for slow, medium, and high speed. So essentially, you have a nine speed drone based off of your ability, your comfort level, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna make sure that my toggles are all the way down, both of them, uh, before I give this a try here in a minute. But first, I need to charge everything. So I've got the controller charged, and I have this one single battery charged. Um, interesting to note, this feels like a pack of gum, really. Um, FPV drones are notorious for only getting about two to six minutes of flight time on one battery. That's because the battery's small to keep the weight down uh, to be able to do all those fun maneuvers. But as somebody who's used to the Mini 2, the Phantom uh, drones like that, you're used to getting 15 to 30 minutes of flight time depending on the atmosphere, the conditions, that kind of thing. Uh, but from what I've seen, two to five minutes is about all some people can handle sometimes uh, with these drones. So I'm really excited to give this a try. So something I just remembered as I was doing this, something I saw was it makes it a lot easier to get everything hooked up if you put the battery in first and then plug in. All right, so I see lights there. I'm gonna press and hold. Tones. Oh, there we go. We got solid lights going on. So let's see what we can do with arming. Oh, there we go. And then just, again, like the scene from Iron Man, just like 1% at best. So we're just gonna ease into this. Oh, cool. Come back. Oh. Down a little bit. And again, this is in all the way down, super easy mode. I'm not as worried about it because it's because it's got the prop guards. Let's see if we can bring you back here. Spraying a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. One of the things that it reminds me of is <laughs> gonna disarm. So success, at least as far as getting it off the table. I don't know if you can see, but it really reminds me of the spaceships from Independence Day. So it's really kind of cool. Um, it's not as easy to control as the Mini 2 is right out of the bat or right out of the box, but that's why you practice. And so uh, I'm gonna download an FPV simulator for my laptop, and I'm actually going to give this a try uh, sometime this afternoon, see if I can't get a little bit more comfortable with it. Uh, but stay tuned for more videos on the Beta FPV Cetus Pro uh, FPV kit. I'm really excited to, to try this a little bit more, maybe strap the Insta360 to it eventually, get some fun footage, uh, see if I can't get better at this and uh, be whipping around in a few weeks, a few months, depending on how much time I'm able to actually uh, dedicate to this. Um, again, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit that like button, and I will catch you next time.